Eurovision Song Contest organisers say they may ban countries from the competition if broadcasters disclose information about voters' identities. It comes after a number of people in Azerbaijan were questioned by police after voting for a song by neighbouring Armenia in this year's contest. And now, let's start the show! The Eurovision Song Contest was designed to bring the continent together in peace and harmony. Well, that was the plan. Can I stay when you are away? This was Armenia's entry in this year's contest. Around 40 people in neighbouring Azerbaijan voted for Inga and Anush. A number of them were subsequently questioned by the police. The Azerbaijani authorities said they'd merely been invited to explain why they'd voted for Armenia. But the organisers decided to investigate. They wanted to know how the police in Azerbaijan got hold of the personal details of those who voted. If any of the broadcasters which participate in, in the song contest uh, are forced uh, by, of course, their local government to uh, reveal votes or reveal information that can allow the tracing of voters, then they must uh, report to us and uh, then, uh, of course, that country will be disqualified from the, from the voting. Relations are strained between the two countries. They previously fought a war over the contested territory of Nagorno-Karabakh, and the situation between them remains tense. Any country found guilty could face a three-year ban. The EBU determined that next year's contest will end on a high note. Tim Ullman, BBC News. Thank you for joining us. You've been watching BBC News. I'm Babita Sharma.